Hi hey guys, Woodsman 500 here. We're back. Um, just got finished up my last video. You seen? Um, pretty much talking about what I carry on me for when I go snaring. We're about halfway through, give or take. So I didn't want the videos to be too overly long, which is what I did with my Remington clothing review. Um, so I wanted to kind of shorten it up a little bit um, because that could have been a 20 minute video. But oops, I decided to break it up uh, to give you guys a break. So we're going into the front section, um, there's another, there's a secondary station I like to call it, I don't keep much in here, um, I do keep my buck, 119 special, this is the current knife that I carry with me when I go hunting, it could change and hopefully will change in the future because I'm getting a new high quality buck, hopefully sometime in the future, so stay tuned and watch out for that. So this is what I carry on me, uh, and the reason I put it in here is because a lot of the times I don't have a belt on me, and I find it, sometimes it can be a pain to carry it on my belt, so that's why it goes right in here, and like I said, I'm not really an axe guy, so I like to have a knife on me for doing pretty much anything, this is what I use this for. Um, in here, if you remember a, long, a while ago, I reviewed uh, the Collins... Uh, waterproof pouch. Here it is right here in, in use. Um, I do use this a lot. Either this goes in my pocket um, or it goes in here. Usually I'm going to keep it in here though. So in here. These were still work great. I still like them. Watch, it for, watch the review. Uh, I talk about it a lot. But in here I have my wallet and also I keep my my regulations and my uh, my license in here as well for small game. So I keep that in there um, because you never know the day you don't have it with you. That's the day you get checked. So that's why I always carry it with me. Once again, this has all my licenses and stuff in it as well. So once again, I always have it with you because I know it's rare, especially in Canada, to see a natural resources officer walking in the woods, but the day it happens is the day you don't have it, so always carry it with you. So that's that. So that's that's all I carry in that secondary um, pouch. Speed stick, I don't usually carry that in there, but whatever. Um, so into the last section of my book bag, here's where some of the interesting stuff is. Well, not really interesting, but different. Um, in here, it's got all kinds of little pockets and doodads and stuff. I won't get into it. Um, watch out for the reveal in this backpack. I'll talk about it quite a bit. Um, in here, I've got matches and a lighter. This is just a spare lighter, actually. It's almost dead, so I'm going to have to get a new one. But I always carry a few matches on me, and I don't have very many. Actually, ooh, a full pack. <laughs> okay. So I always carry matches and a lighter. Just that's backup, what that is. Um, pretty much everything in here is backup. Um, not necessarily going to be using this all this in a day, um, but it's just in case. So, in, also in here I have a spoon, for obvious reasons. I've got my, my canned food here, if you watched that last part. And um, I carry a couple bags wrapped in, in elastic, um, just in case, you never know. Um, they have excellent uses, um, whether it's for garbage or for um, rabbit guts or, I mean, anything really. You can use this for a lot of stuff, waterproof and whatever you want to waterproof, maybe your first aid kit. So always have a couple bags with you. Um, it helps a lot, and it might save you from a, losing a lot of money, um, especially with this, the first aid kit. Um... Also in here, I have a little pouch in here. Right there, there's a little pouch. In here, I keep one of these. These are awesome. They're called a Speedy Shirt. Um, these are great. I love them. Um, they're easy to use, easy to sharpen. Uh, any tool that you have. I have one in my tackle box. I've got one in here um, so I can sharpen my knife or whatever I gotta do. So I always keep always keep that on me. 
Um, great little tool to have. Uh, put it in your backpack or in your fish and tackle box, wherever. Um, and also, along with that, I have my buck, red point. Um, I keep this uh, pretty much as a backup. Actually, it needs to be clean because uh, last time I had it, I had goose hunting. And then we were cleaning geese with it, as you can see. It's a little bloody. Um, so I always keep a backup knife. Um, this is so I, if I lose one in the snow or if I leave one at home, I have a backup. And it hasn't failed me yet. So oh, I suggest you always have a backup knife. It works great. So that's everything that I carry in the backpack. Once again, not a whole lot of stuff, but if I'm just going for a couple hours or for 15 minutes or 20 minutes, it's, it's all I need. On to what I carry in my person. Um, I wear my camo pants that I have on now. Um, not, I don't carry anything in the pockets because they fall down. Once again, I'm not a fan of the belt, so I'm not wearing a belt necessarily, so I don't carry a whole lot in these pockets. Um, I'm usually not wearing this camo hat either. I'm wearing my hunter's orange hat um, with the lights in it in case I run a little late um, and I don't want to go in my backpack maybe and dig out my, my light. Um, works great. I can, just, I can just have this and press my bill and I have lights and they're really bright too. I think there's six of them or five of them in there. So I really like that. It's really nice and it's waterproof too. I've carried, had this in the snow, shoveling snow, blinding snowstorms, and it works awesome. So, um, Here is my orange. Um, this is pretty much where I carry everything because this goes over my, uh, my camo jacket. I can't get to my pockets in my camo jacket. Um, so I'm always, I always have my stuff in these, in these pockets here. And uh, they're big pockets too, so I can carry a lot of stuff in this one pocket if I want to. So in here I carry my actual pellets, and usually this pocket's open so I can quickly get to them. Um, so in here are my pellets, and of course I have my, my little uh, scope cleaner. Um, this has a bunch of pellets in it. Uh, go watch the video on what I carry, squirrel hunting, or I think it's that video where um, my picking out your pellet gun video. Um, I carry that in there and I carry a lighter. I'm a full one. Uh, Bic makes the best lighters by the way. And I take the safeties off. I know you're not supposed to but I always take them off because they're so much easier to light. So so that's what I that's what I do with my Bic lighters. And I carry my in my pocket I carry my buck my buck light. I carry that um, partly because it's light, hence the name, and it just fits right in my pocket, and it's a great little knife, so I carry that on me. And in my other pocket, um, I've got sunglasses, um, for the sun and for snow blindness, which a lot of people don't think about, um, the reflection from coming off the snow is actually ten times brighter than, uh, the sun reflection itself, so... I always have a pair of sunglasses in me, on on me. Um, so yeah, I always have a pair of a uh, pair of good sunglasses on you. These are just my fishing glasses. I mean, you don't have to go buy a specific pair for for in winter. You can just wear your normal summer glasses. Um, so I always carry those. And in here, last but not least, I have a cell phone. Um, everybody who knows me is gonna be like, "Wow, you have a cell phone? I never knew that." Um, but I do. Um, it's actually on. And this isn't really for, uh, for calling. I'm gonna, it's not even activated, actually. It's mainly to see what time it is. Um, but I always carry it with me, um, because you never know. You could be in trouble. It's great to have. I mean, you gotta have one of these, um, so you can call in. Either that or get a spot. I don't have one personally, um, but I've heard good things about it. Um, spot is just a little handheld thing. You can push SOS and it'll send out like 10 people that you're gone or whatever or something like that. I don't know. Go check it out. It's called Spot. S-P-O-T. It stands for something, but go check them out. Um, they're expensive though. So, Of course, always wear your orange. It is hunting season where I am, so always wear your orange. Um, sometimes I will switch out the buck for uh, 
my Gerber. And this I like better because I can open up that little thing there and it won't fall out. Um, so I kind of prefer this just because of the case. So, so sometimes I'll carry a different knife. Um, I also, 99% of the time, I've got my pellet gun with me. This is a Benjamin Trail Nitro Piston Air Rifle. 99% um, of the time I'm going to have this. Rarely am I without it. Um, so I always have that, and that's one of the reasons why I'm always carry extra pellets in my book bag. Just in case I run out in here, I've always got some extras. So, once again, be prepared. You never know what's going to happen. So I always like to have this with me. So, thanks for watching. Woodsman 500 here. Get out, get yourself some rabbits this season, and have a good day. We'll get out sometime. Rabbit snare, and hopefully... When that will be, I have no idea. Whenever we get snow. So it's up to Mother Nature right now. So, which made 500? Stay tuned. Oh! Not gonna leave quite yet. Um, when I'm done with all this, um, there's something I like to do. Uh, I like to put it away when I'm done. I don't have this laying on my counter every night because I have to use my book bag, of course, to go to school the next morning. So what I got... One of these little babies. These things are awesome. It's a military box for 50 caliber bullets um, used in the military. Um, it's empty. Um, I've got written on what I have in it right here. I don't know if you can see it. Um, so in here I carry or put in all my stuff when I'm done at the end of the day. And it's a big big room and it just slides right underneath your bed or whatever and keeps stuff out of the way. So go pick up yourself one of those. Princess Auto, just saying. And of course you can hear that snap and they are waterproof too, I think. So and the handling folds down and everything. So they're good little good little tools if you want to put your stuff away at the end of the day. So now I'm gonna leave Woodsman 500, stay tuned.